we close our eyes when we meditate because the problem is inside. I was told that there are schools of thought that say you should open your eyes because you want to meditate for the sake of the world. But the world isn't making you suffer. The things in the mind are making you suffer. So you want to see them clearly, so give them your full attention. It's true that we try to carry the practice into the world, but to really get to know our minds we have to close off things from outside and just focus on what's happening right here inside. We try to create good things inside. Mindfulness, concentration, by focusing on the breath, making the breath comfortable, making it something that you're interested in. If you're just in, out, in, out, in, out, the mind is going to go out and stay out. But if you begin to realize there are lots of different ways you can breathe that can have a good effect on the body and a good effect on the mind, you can start studying them, exploring them. And the mind gets concentrated without you having to think of concentration. When you've got something good going inside, then when things that are not so skillful show up, you can begin to recognize them for what they are. Otherwise, the mind is hungry for anything that comes along. It's as if you're standing on the side of a road, waiting for some good transport, but some old jalopy comes up, but it's hot and miserable outside, so you just jump right in because you'll take anything that'll get you out of the heat. Now we end up making a lot of poor choices as to what to think about, what to focus on. But if you've got a good air-conditioned bus stop, and then you can wait and see if something good comes along, then you might go with it. But otherwise, you've got a good place to stay. Now you can see your unskillful habits a lot more clearly and begin to understand why you went for them to begin with and why it's not really all that wise. And that's how you solve the problem inside, by making inside as good as you can. So that the unskillful things just get pushed out, don't have a space to stay. So keep your focus right here. Then when you do have to go into the world and your eyes are open and you're moving around, try to maintain this sense of sensitivity inside to what's going on in your mind. And you begin to see a lot of things you didn't see before. The reason you thought the world was making you suffer is because you didn't realize what you were doing to the input coming from the world, how you were shaping it. But when you get more sensitive to how you shape your experience, you see that you've had a hand in your suffering, and you can let that go.